Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and I'm always on the lookout for products that make complex networking tasks simpler for consumers. And I've got one on the desk here today that does just that. This is called the Teleport and it's from a company called Amplify, which is a division of Ubiquity Networks that makes a lot of uh, enterprise level networking gear that I am very fond of. And they recently moved into the consumer space with their Amplify router and mesh system that we looked at a few months ago. And what this little thing lets you do is create a virtual private network so that you can uh, essentially connect back to your home network from anywhere in the world without having to really configure anything beyond plugging this little device into a wall. It will create a secure connection back to your home network. You'll be able to browse the internet uh, securely through your own internet connection versus having people in your hotel's network, for example, spy on you. And you get uh, the added benefit of being able to connect to your hard drives and computers and printers uh, over that secure tunnel. I'm going to show you how all of this works here in just a second, but I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure, this came in free of charge from Amplify. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review and no one has reviewed this video before I uploaded it. And what I'm going to do first is give you a quick rundown as to how this thing works so you can understand what we're going to do with it. And then I'm going to take you on a quick trip to McDonald's where I uh, was able to connect through their insecure wireless network back to to my home network securely just by plugging this thing into a wall. So let's get into it and learn first about what we're going to do. So let's take a closer look now at the hardware. Uh, there is not much to this thing. You just plug it into a wall and after it boots up, you will uh, then connect your computers and phones and other devices to it via Wi-Fi. Uh, you also have the option to connect up devices via Ethernet here at the bottom. It does support multiple connections, so you don't just have to use one computer. If you've got a computer, a tablet, and a bunch of other devices, they can all uh, connect to this. You can basically, again, extend your home network uh, beyond your home with this and have it work kind of like any uh, Wi-Fi mesh extension, except you're doing it over the internet. Now, once you are connected to the Amplify, uh, you will then have it connect to the network where you are at. In this case, I'm um, maybe at a Starbucks, for example. So the teleport connects to the Starbucks network. But remember, our computer is connected to the teleport because what's happening here in this green arrow is that it's creating a secure connection back to the router that is at my home. Once you have this tunnel established back to your router, uh, anything plugged into the router on your local network like this network attached storage device will be visible to you over the internet and you can access those devices the same way you would if you were sitting at home. And for network attached storage devices in particular, I think this might be very useful because once you make that connection with the teleport here, your entire local network is going to work. You're going to get your printers, your network attached storage devices and everything else. And in the case of the network attached storage device, if you're used to when you're home, accessing your files like this, where you just go onto the network and find the drive and uh, connect to it and look for the files that you want to connect to. Uh, this is the same workflow now that you'll have when you are using it over the internet. Uh, typically with a network attached storage device like this, you have to uh, usually access it through an app or have some other driver installed to uh, gain access to your files remotely. Uh, now you can do that just by uh, plugging this in, connecting to it, and uh, basically putting yourself on your local network even if you are sitting a few thousand miles away. And it's important to note here that it does require an Amplify router for this to work. Now, I covered how the router and its mesh system works in a prior video, so if you want to see a little bit more about that, uh, definitely check out that video. The Teleport here, if you already own the router, is $99, but they sell them as a pair for $229. And then you can also uh, add on some of the mesh connections to the router separately if you want to extend your local network as well. But one thing to keep in mind here is that your connection to the internet will likely be slower. Remember, we're connecting through this secure tunnel between the teleport and Starbucks to our local network. And as a result, we're going to be accessing the internet through our local network. In this case, I've got my uh, Comcast connection here that I am connecting to. So to paint this picture here, let's say we wanted to go uh, maybe to youtube.com from our laptop at the Starbucks. We're going to make that request. Uh, it's going to first connect to the teleport here. The teleport's going to encrypt that traffic and send it through the Starbucks network over to the router where it gets decrypted. The router is going to see that I'm trying to go to YouTube. It's going to go to my Comcast connection. It's then going to push all of that data, including the video that I'm watching, back upstream over to the teleport and back to my laptop. Now here at my house, 
Uh, my internet connection is very fast for watching videos because I have 250 megabits per second downstream, but my upload speed is only 10 megabits per second. And because I'm remote and because I am accessing my internet connection remotely, uh, that connection is going to be made uh, through the upload uh, side of things because I have to basically push all that traffic from my local network uh, back through that secure tunnel, back to my computer on the other end. So you're going to be limited in uh, the speed based on whatever your local network has available for its upstream connection. You're also going to have some limitations based on what the uh, Starbucks network is looking like here as well. So if they're very saturated and getting a lot of uh, visitors to the store, uh, that will also impact your connection. So don't expect anything uh, very fast here unless everything you're connecting through is fast to start with. So now with the concept here out of the way, let's take a look and see how it actually works. So what I did is I uh, took the teleport and my laptop over to the local McDonald's near me and I uh, plugged the teleport into the wall. Now prior to going, I set up its network on here. So I have a uh, network name of LS Teleport with a secure password. Uh, incidentally, that Wi-Fi password is going to be very important because there's no other password to access your local network. So if someone has uh, access to this teleport, they have access to your local network. So make sure your Wi-Fi password is secure. Uh, once I connected up to the teleport, it realized that it didn't have a network near it. Uh, so what it did is it uh, asked me to connect to a network that it could see at the McDonald's and I chose the free insecure uh, wireless network that was available at my McDonald's for it to connect to. It does have to reboot for a second, so you have to wait a little bit longer after that initial uh, setup there. And then when it came back up, it connected to the, to the McDonald's network and it brought up the uh, McDonald's capture page. In other words, this is what you would see if you connected your uh, phone or tablet to the network. So I kind of stepped through all of those steps like I normally would, but remember, we're accessing that through the teleport. And once I was done with that, I went over to a website to check out my IP address and sure enough, sitting at the McDonald's about uh, 15 miles away from my home, I was using my home internet connection. I knew that because my IP address was my home IP address. Now the first thing I did was check to see if I could get access to the network attached storage device that I have here on my desk. I turned off all of its remote access capabilities so that it would only work on my local network and sure enough I was able to create a file in my word processor and save the file on the Synology drive here just like it was on my local network yet again I'm sitting at the McDonald's. That worked very well. I did notice of course it wasn't as fast as it is when I'm at home but nonetheless I was able to access the drive, save a file to it and I could also retrieve other files from it as well. And while my laptop was connected to the teleport, I also connected my phone up to it. And I've got this neat app that I run on iOS called Discovery. And what it does is it uh, gives you an idea as to what devices are broadcasting themselves over the network. And when I went over to my uh, AFP over TCP, which tells me what Apple compatible file servers there are, uh, sure enough, when I was at the McDonald's, my DS218J, which is the Synology NAS here we're playing with, uh, showed up like it would if I was sitting here on the network, like you see it right here. And I was able to get that IP address. I then typed that IP address, which is a local non-routable IP address into my web browser. And I was able to access the Synology's control panel through the teleport over the internet. Normally I could not do that because it's sitting behind the router and protected from outside view, but uh, this thing really does replicate a local network connection. And that was a great example of how well that connection works. And I also ran a speed test to see what kind of connection I was getting to uh, my home network and its internet connection. About 100 milliseconds or so of latency on the device compared to around 67 milliseconds when I connected directly to the McDonald's network. So not a huge hit here in latency and the speed was about the same between the two networks as well. And that's largely due to the fact that the McDonald's network wasn't all that fast to begin with. But there are a few things that I think they can improve about the product. The first issue is that there is no additional layer of security beyond the Wi-Fi password that you assign to the teleport. Port. So to go back to our McDonald's example, if I was at my McDonald's and somebody is there with a laptop and they see my little LS teleport network showing up, if they guess my Wi-Fi password or brute force a weak Wi-Fi password, 
uh, they could gain access to my local network with no other authentication. So what I would like to see is a intermediary step where you log in with a username and password before it grants you access to the rest of the network. That would be a, a nice little add on there. Another issue with it is that it does not work unless it is plugged into an outlet. It does work throughout the world. It'll switch between 240 and 110 without any issues, but it does not work uh, without a power source. So if you wanted to use this thing in your pocket or something, or if you're at an airport and there's no outlets available, you're out of luck. You can't use it unless it's plugged into the wall. So some kind of ability to use it without a wall outlet would have been a nice add-on to it. And they only allow you to connect one teleport to the router at the moment. Uh, that is a very requested uh, change that they have on their message boards to allow more of these teleports to connect at a time. But right now, uh, just one teleport per router. So just keep that in mind. I also don't really have a good feel as to what the uh, underlying protocol is for its secure tunnel back to the router. I did ask them. They didn't reveal what it was. They did say that they might uh, change how some of the underlying technology works over time, but it was an industry standard. So my guess is either an IPsec tunnel or an open VPN tunnel, which are two uh, widely followed uh, VPN protocols in the router industry. So I don't have a way of uh, verifying what it is running with. You do have to put your trust into Ubiquiti Networks who manufactures this product. Uh, that is often the case with these turnkey consumer solutions. You don't have a lot of control over what is going on with this technology. So I don't, again, have a lot of information about what the back end is here, but uh, you will have to trust Ubiquiti to keep your uh, network safe from anyone else accessing it beyond the teleport that you've authorized. But overall, I think this is a really nice solution for people that are trying to connect things remotely to their local network and have them show up uh, on the network like any other local device. I was very pleased that once I got to that McDonald's and established the connection there, uh, my computer was on my local network and had access to everything I would have here at home just a little bit slower. And I think from a uh, ease of use standpoint, uh, this is really cool to just to have something that doesn't require a driver or any kind of client. You just plug it in, it works with anything, and you got access to your devices when you are away. It also functions pretty well if you're trying to access content from another country. Maybe you have family in Great Britain or something. You could toss this over to them and then access your video that you can't get in the United States uh, through this kind of like a proxy server. So a lot of neat little implementations that you might be able to uh, employ with this little thing. And again, very easy to set up. So that's going to do it for the teleport from Amplify. And this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Black Eyed and Blues Music Hour podcast, Chris Allegretta, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.